In a healthy relationship, when you have issues with your partner, it's quite common to talk to your partner about it. In fact, you'll sit down in a healthy relationship and say, hey, we need to talk about this because this is driving me crazy. And then one partner will tell the other one what's bothering them, why it's bothering them, why they're worried for their partner because of the behavior. And then the partner will work to resolve it. Like the partner hearing it says, well, you know, maybe they're right. Maybe I should take better care of myself or maybe I should try this approach because they know their partner's on their side and they're a team and they work together. But in many marriages, they're not always healthy, especially around the issue of communication. And so the partner who is having frustration and just difficulty in the relationship, instead of talking to their partner, will talk to their friends about it. Now that's not entirely bad, but it does show that the partner who is turning toward their friends is a more passive partner because if they were emotionally mature and it was a healthy relationship, they would know how important it was to talk to their partner about it. But they usually will say such things as, when I talk to them, my partner gets angrier, or they blow up, or they take it out on me. Whatever it is, they will go to their friends. And there are positives to that. It's not always negative. I think overall, I, I myself, as well as most therapists will say, you have to have these honest conversations with your partner for things to change. But as a form of venting or blowing off steam, it can be helpful to talk to your friends. And these are the benefits. The benefits are your friends are in emotional support. You have your friends offer you a different perspective and that perspective may be really healthy. It may be something that in all your your upsetness and frustration, you didn't think about it. And a friend points that out to you and it can really like shake your world up, light a light bulb and help you make changes. And venting is a form of release. So it kind of helps the blood pressure go down, helps you feel connected, helps you feel heard and validated at a time when maybe you can't with your partner. Now, this is the negative part of venting because there is a negative part. And unfortunately, in couples counseling, more of the negative part gets in the way with the relationship and starts causing a problem that didn't necessarily need to happen if the partner had just gone to their mate and talked about it. The negative is there's a breach of privacy. When you're telling friends how your partner acts when they're stressed or they're angry or they're frustrated, which is usually a more regressive state, a more a childish, childlike state, then your partners are, or your friends are going to form an opinion about your partner. And it's a breach of, of privacy, really. You're not being, you're not really taking good care of your marriage at that point. There can be a misinterpretation. Your, your friends can think you're in an abusive relationship or you're trapped. And it's obvious you're not. It's usually more that the friend who is venting is just, is just passive and, and doesn't have the skills to talk to their partner in a way or their partner is not receptive at that time, but they still need to get rid of this angst and suffering they're feeling. Thirdly, there can be a lack of resolution because if you're just venting to friends, your friends are more than likely going to give you an advice or they're going to tell you what to do. You don't really want that when you're venting. So your friends begin feeling like, I've told you five times what to do and you have never followed it. You've always given an excuse. So maybe you're just that kind of person. Maybe it's not your partner. Maybe it's you. They may not say that to you, but they may think about it. And so it may, in the end, make you look weaker than you actually are. I want you to consider these before you go to friends to vent. In the case you need to vent to someone, therapist is always great, or tell one good friend. And tell them up front, you know what? 
I just need to vent today. I don't need advice. I don't need anything else. I just need to vent. Would you, would you just be my sounding board? And then your friend has an option. And most of the time, one good friend, they love you. And they will for sure do that for you. And you, they know you'll reciprocate for them. So it's all going to be good. I think this is a healthy way to manage that need to tell somebody else when you're going through a rough time. If this video is helpful for you, please subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much.